What we what we thinking about Effie, man? <laughs> what we what we think about Effie? You know, Effie has a history of um being on some BS. Hey, I'm 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 doing hey, well. I don't know. This week I got a short week. This week, like I said, I leave I leave Thursday night. So Thursday night I'll leave. I'll be in London till Monday. I'm gonna try to do a live. I'm gonna give me a SIM card over there. I'm gonna try to do a live. Uh, maybe Friday during the day while well y'all gonna be sleep. My dog Tria. Hey, I'm I'm I'm, a, I'm a open up the case file, man. I'm gonna go ahead and finally drop that case file on Effie, man. You know, where is that? So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this case file on Effie one of these days. I'm gonna put this together because we got some free time. I've been holding on to it, but after we just seen what we seen with Effie. Yeah, the case file is being open, man. There's a there's a long history of Effie snitching from the beginning. Effie's storyline, we're not ever figuring out who is who. We got this shit here. Shit. Checkmate in three. Nope. Two. This whole time, they were building it up like Tariq was really a freaking mastermind. Whole time, Tariq been getting played by Effie for five freaking seasons. The only problem is Effie been playing herself the whole time. Remember, in the beginning, everybody like, oh, Effie. Oh, Effie. Checkmate, too. She's sacrificing my part of you. Now, let's listen back to when we first seen young FF. <laughs> you never even saw me coming. While I'm busy sacrificing my pawns, you busy protecting yours. Playing defense makes you weak. Whatever. <laughs> Playing defense makes you weak. Tariq was playing defense all season four. All season four, Tariq was playing defense. Effie was on offense. Now, Effie, she's really back in control of everything. Now, did Effie ever get to where was she supposed to get to? Hell no. Guess I'll come back later. Look at this. Look at this. Effie been playing Tariq the whole time. Now, do you think, let's be real. Let's be real. One thing about, this is this is Effie's mistake here, but I will say this. One thing about James St. Patrick, he ain't let Tasha play him. He ain't let Angela play him. James did the play. Tariq was getting played left and right by all the women in his life. Effie been running game on this nigga Tariq since they were 17. They 25 now. They 37 years old now. Effie been running game on Tariq the whole time. She give him a little piece of that poon nanny, and Tariq just gives her the whole operation. Every time we about to make progress, Effie shows up. Now, the thing about Effie is we've always been wondering, what's going on with Effie? And for some strange reason... They gave us 15 seconds of Effie's mother, and we were like, who is this junkie? You know what I mean? We don't give a shit who Effie's mother is. Who is this unknown person that Effie was texting way back then? And people were telling me, Mo, it might be Don Carter. Don Carter is the dad. I'm like, man, I don't know about that. I really don't care. But we never knew what the hell was actually going on with Effie. But we do know... One thing we know about snitches, they always lurking. See, what we're talking about is the mistakes made by Effie. Effie has always been in a situation where she could potentially succeed, but for some reason, she always falls back. Now, remember, Effie was in here in the audio visual, uh, audio, <laughs> audio visual, audio video room. She was watching Tariq. Take the little pill. He's talking about Mr. Tylenol. Hell no, man. You got them perk 30s. She was watching where Tariq put it at. So we know from here, Effie set Tariq up. Tariq St. Patrick, you should be in class. You know, of our code of conduct, 
do they think they're buying baby aspirin? This is y'all little mastermind right here. So what we're watching is Effie slowly but surely taking out the competition. So we're thinking, all right, bet. Effie is going to be in the powerhouse. Now, I know a lot of people say, well, Effie didn't really snitch, but Tariq did get suspended here. No, sir. Right. Dean Orson, is there something that maybe you can do? It, I don't when when Tasha said, is there something you can do? The only thing I could think about was Forrest Gump. You know what I mean? You know what scene I'm talking about. We were trying to get Forrest in school. And he said, Whew. yo mama. <laughs> That's all I can think with Tasha talking about. Is there anything we can do? There is something we can do. Get this nigga Tariq about the school. Tariq's been through a lot. Please, can you give him a second chance? It's green. Choke was his second chance. Choke was his second chance. So let's continue on with Effie. So it's setting Effie up. It's putting Effie in the power position, a, a position to succeed. About my life. Do you solemnly swear to tell why he transferred? He wasn't at Choke for long. All right. Now. We're getting somewhere before we get to where we're at with Effie handing over that money. Let's listen carefully to what's going on here and what reference is Jenny Sullivan making? We met at Choate. We were roommates. But Tariq wasn't at Choate for long. Do you recall why he transferred? Yeah. Tariq wasn't at Choate for long. Can you recall why Tariq transferred from Choke? Somebody was selling drugs on campus. The dean found a stash in our room, assumed it was Tariq's. A student selling drugs at school. Hmm. So Effie set Tariq up way back when. Now, they telling me that Tariq is better than Ghost. You know what Ghost did when half smart chicken head Tasha tried to, tried to sell drugs? When half smart chicken head Tasha tried to set him up to be the larger drug dealer in new york city but he knew that being legitimate was the best thing for him and his family he got rid of her and called the police Tariq recruited effie and she backdoored him several more times over four seasons not to mention Tariq is on the stand being court. well he ain't on the stand he's in court fighting for his life like r kelly was with Braden taking the stand and Jenny asking why did Tariq get suspended in high school? Because Effie told the dean that Tariq was selling baby aspirin, but it really wasn't baby aspirin. So this stuck with Tariq for the rest of his life. And Effie, you gave Kane that money when all you did was steal, steal, steal. Back in season two, season three, you were stealing for Noma. You were taking money. People say, oh, Mo, that's part of the game. No, that's money off the top. That's supposed to go back to Noma. So you had a number in mind. You had that bucket ass car. You tried to throw Lauren in the water, which wasn't deep enough. It all the only thing that happened was she had goddamn wet feet. You got the Rico put on us because you had Lauren in there living with Jenny Sullivan because you fucked up. Talking about, I got a number I want to reach just to reach the number to give it to Kane, who is Tariq's arch enemy. We don't fuck with Kane, but guess what? You gave Kane that money. Kane on the run. We don't know what Kane doing. We don't know where Kane at. We don't know what Kane doing. But you gave him the money just to go back crawling to Tariq after telling us for five years, I want to go to Stanford. I got a dream, Mo. I got a dream. We don't care about that dream, Effie. You made a mistake. You gave Kane that money. You give me the money next time. Now you over here begging for work. Kane, I need it. Kane, just take the money. And Kane talking. Kane pulled a me. Man, I ain't going to lie to you. This is probably the same move I would pull, man. Mo, here goes my life savings. All I'm going to do is give you a kiss on the forehead. Effie could have got the hell out of here, went to Stanford. No one would even been checking for Effie. She was the lowest piece on the totem pole. She wasn't even getting checked for by the federalities. 
Evie could have got up out of here. Instead, she gave it to Durag Kane. Durag Kane is something else. Durag Kane is the most irresponsible piece of sh we've seen on the show. Effie was out of her mind. Now, was this a good move for Kane? Definitely was. You know, I was, I was over here cheering. Yeah, Kane, good job, good job, Kane. Because it ain't nothing better than having a ride or die chick on your side that's willing to give you her whole paycheck. You know what I mean? I haven't, I haven't found real love yet in my life, and I've been living for a while, but I haven't found that that perfect somebody that that knows, like, you know, Mo, you're looking down and out today, man. You had to go to work today. You had to get in the field and put that 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 work in. You know what I'm saying? Belt to ass. And she just comes up to me and says, Mo, here goes $50,000. I know I've been saving it for a better cause, but ain't nothing better than giving it to Boo. Effie is dumb. Effie is stupid. Why would she give this nigga all the money. If anything, let's just say, let's just say, all right. I got me a, I got me a little hood chick. You know, what I'm saying? you know, I love me the hood chick. She laying in the bed, she shot up. <coughs> I'm like, damn, baby, you all right? Said so you the most wanted person in the in, in New York City right now. I go on the run, Mo. I'm short on funds. I'm looking around. Let's say I got 50,000 cash. I'm like, hey, look, here go like, here go like 200. You know what I'm saying? This should get you on your feet. You know what I'm saying? Make sure, make sure you leave your phone here. Like, break the phone, throw the SIM card somewhere else. Uh, turn off all your, like, leave all your credit cards and stuff. Don't do nothing. But that 200 should hold you over. Like, New York, you can probably make it down to Baltimore. You could probably get to Baltimore. You stay down there for a little bit. And I'm a rendezvous you with you. And uh, let's say, let's say in two weeks I meet up with you. You can make that 200 stretch for two weeks. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You should be able to, because I know the I, I seen some bums make $25 last for a month. So you can make 200 last. I'm gonna I'm gonna meet you up in Baltimore and I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you like another five thousand. All right. She'll never hear from me again. <laughs> <laughs> She'll never hear from me again. Is Kane uh, uh the sympathy symptom? <laughs> Does Kane have them symptoms? That's what we're gonna call it. The symptoms. Does Kane have the symptoms? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he did make an investment, but he didn't know that that return was gonna be like this. And remember, Kane said he was gonna pay it back. So them symptoms still kicked in to get the money back. If you giving me money to go on the run. Man, I'm a, let me tell y'all something right now. If I'm on the run, don't expect me to pay back nothing. Whatever you're giving me is out the kindness of your heart. Now, I'm not gonna ask for no money, but if you give me, you give me fifty thousand dollars. Well, I'm just gonna say this is probably like a, this is probably like a hundred in this bag. I don't know how much she gave him, but she said she had a number in mind. If she's going to Stanford, let me. Well, I got accepted into UC Berkeley. Now I didn't go to Stanford, but Stanford for an undergraduate is fifty-eight thousand. Now she's going for robotics because she didn't already. Uh, she didn't already did what was. They supposed to be getting their bachelor's, so they did their undergrad. Okay, this is what we going to right here, School of Engineering, Robotics. $65,000 in 2024, 2025. This is a regular graduate, but we go into the school of engineering, y'all. We go into robotics. So at least, and this is, oh, okay, so this is for three academic quarters. Okay, so she, she could graduate off of 65000 She's going to have to really push it, though. But then we got to factor in campus rent, 18 God. Food is 7000 
total allowance forty dollars about hundred thousand dollars to go to school. Uh, Eighty-seven, but it's one twelve total for the full twelve months. God. God. Let's just say minimum she gave Kane a hundred thousand dollars. Oh hell no! Hey, are you giving up a hundred k in your dreams to get back into this dope game where we just got into a whole shootout where we had a kidnap police officers where we had to go to war where we had to break in houses does this sound like something you would want to do like the hell with Kane the Tejada still got money Drew and Diana could help Kane on the run nah she didn't get the money in the Russia shootout remember she was hiding up under the body, and when she got up, old boy had the gun, and then the cop came and shot that guy. He does that the Bears win in London. Uh, I mean, I don't I don't care who win. I'm not a fan of the Bears or the Jaguars. I just wanted to go because it's a holiday this weekend. Indigenous People Day. Now, they, it used to be Columbus Day, but now it's Indigenous People. You know what I mean? So I got to go to the to the home country and let them know, represent for USA, USA. But yeah, my brother's a Jag fan, so I'm going to buy me like a Jags uh, hoodie and probably like a, a Scully when I get there, but I don't care who wins. <laughs> What's a... All right. What's the reasonable amount of money for someone to go on the run? And do before we say that, is do we think that Kane is leaving the country or he's just going down to like Atlanta to lay low? Because I can't believe Kane is just gonna go to Atlanta and lay low. Kane can go to Atlanta, be hanging out with Brian's, going to the club and stuff, getting pulled over with the same driver's license that he had in New York, knowing that there's a warrant out for his arrest. I just don't see Kane laying low wherever he goes and he definitely isn't leaving the country now the best thing for kane to do although he didn't have him remember dante did have fake passports for everybody zeke drew diana kane and monet because remember for some goofy reason this nigga wanted to adopt all these old ass kids i was like man i think the adoption age is up to 17 like after 18 i don't think you can adopt them anymore dante but he's like i want to take care of you and the kids so effie how much it, it, it look if you going on the run man look you get 2500 i can i can give you 2500 if you're going on the run but don't let them know you got that money from me 25k is a lot though. You know? <laughs> Look, I can I can do all right. Look, man, y'all, y'all my people. So if y'all go in the run and y'all come to me, first of all, don't call me on the phone or nothing. You know what I mean? I don't want to be an accessory to this shit. If you come, you pop up, this is this be our code word. Cause I don't, the Fed, I don't think the feds are listening to, to my YouTube channel, but this would be our cold word. If you're going on the run and you need some money. If you come to my crib and you tell me this, if you tell me we going to figure it out, I know I got $2,500 I'm going to give you. And this the last time we can communicate. I don't know what that twenty five hundred is for, but that's all I can give you on the run is twenty five hundred done. You gonna have to figure it out from there. You know what I mean? Twenty five hundred. And then if the feds ever ask, I got deny him like twenty five hundred. I owe that nigga twenty five. We were shooting dice the other day, and I ain't have it on me. I owe him twenty five. That's it. You just come to the crib. You say this. I know you on the run. <laughs> we gonna figure it out. <laughs> but I. Ah man, Effie. 
I don't think she should have gave Kane all that money, man. I think that was a mistake on her part just to get back into the game because she didn't even look like she wanted to be in the game. Look at her. <laughs> man, hit that like button for you, boy. Let's get uh, 80 likes, please. I ain't asking for too much. Never too much. Never too much. He could go to Cuba. <laughs> Cuba's nice. My cousin went to Cuba. That is one place that I have on the list that I want to go to. Good old Cuba. Havana. I'm going to go to Cuba one day. I'm going to go to Russia, too, as soon as this little uh, war stuff died down. I got to go to Moscow. See what's cracking over there. Kane, I, yeah, I don't think Kane's actually going to leave the country. He just, I don't know, man. The only the only people we know outside of the city is his cousin Brian's, and we know that Brian's had mentioned that he had an operation. Unless he could find a way. Well, I don't think Drew's really going to be messing with him. I don't know, man. But yeah, Effie was tripping with that. Giving Kane money, man. Like, all we've been hearing is Effie. Effie switched schools. She came down here with Tariq. She was driving around in a bucket. We don't know what happened to that bucket. You know what I'm saying? She don't have a bucket no more. She went back to walking. She stacked up all this bread just to throw it all away. She threw it all away, man. So now, let's look at the, the college dropout rate. Well, it, we, we're not going to say dropouts. Zeke didn't finish Stansfield. Braden didn't finish Stanfield. Effie, for what we know right now, hasn't finished Stanfield. Tariq. Hasn't finished Stanfield. The only person that actually made it out of Stansfield alive that we can confirm is Everett. Everett left school and went to the NBA. Bruchandra is still here. We, Lauren didn't finish school. Lauren is just out somewhere. Salim didn't finish school. Man, Stansfield, their graduation rate has to be the lowest in the nation. It is, it, this is terrible. I know Effie is low-key thinking I shouldn't have switched schools. Oh, yeah, Diana ain't finished Stanfield. Diana thinks she Monet now. Diana didn't even finish her damn – uh. well, that wasn't even the final. That was just the test that they were taking, and then they had another uh, quiz or something that they had to do later on, which would determine their final grade. Oh, man, Stansfield, that's, tw t t that, that, that's terrible. Oh, man. Damn, Stansfield. We're going to have to figure that out, though, man. But I've been calling for the, the closing of Stansfield since season one, man. And people have been like, no, nah, Mo, let it, stay, let it stay open a little bit. Yeah, Diana just got up and walked out. That's what we're going to talk about next, those mistakes that Diana made. So Effie did make a mistake by giving Kane that money and getting back in the game in which she told us she didn't want to be in. <laughs> all right, all right. Stansfield is a graveyard at this point. They had <laughs> man. Could you imagine Trace? Oh yeah, Trace and Becca. Becca didn't finish. She got kicked out. Oh my goodness, dude. Yeah, Stansfield is terrible. Shit, not only that, nah. <laughs> Stansfield is basically HBCA. Chill, 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 man. Nah, man. <laughs> it's fucked up. Nah, the HBCUs graduate more than this. 
At least the HBCUs, you get the party, man. You, you go to Stansfield, you got to worry about the biggest drug dealers in New York City attacking you. You got to worry about that. They had Braden was sleeping on campus. Braden got expelled from school two years ago. The beginning of season three, remember, Braden wasn't in school. Braden was working for Weston Holdings. Or was that two? No, that was the beginning of three. Because Tariq was doing the intern. Broussandre was doing the intern over with Tate. <laughs> and they just, no one noticed that, hey, Braden Weston, the guy that got kicked out of school for admitting to selling dope, the guy whose family is all over the news for one of the biggest Ponzi schemes since uh, Bernie Madoff, since Enron, and Braden is just on the campus sleeping in, sleeping from couch to couch, couch surfing, in the room calling the police. Like the campus police, when they got the phone call that there was a kid that OD'd in that room, and they went in there, and Braden Weston was the one that made the phone call. Braden should have been arrested for trespassing and locked the hell up. This nigga Braden. Been catching bodies, slinging dope. Dante was hanging out on campus. Two bit was hanging out on campus. Hell, one time Monet got on campus with a gun. Kane had a gun. Everybody just comes on Stansfield wilding out. They go into the, the damn basketball games. Monet got the two Lee on her. Security talk about wait, y'all can't come in here. Monet talking about that's my son Z. I can go in there, my nephew. Dog Stansfield was terrible. And then you get ready to go take you a little dip. Oh, man, I'm going to go hit the swimming pool. It's a body in there. Like, come on. You about to go to class. The teachers don't show up because they bodies were discovered last night stanking. Uh, Carrie then unalived herself. She didn't jump off a table. I'm like, man, what the hell is going on here? If I'm a, if I'm a parent, I'm looking at this school and I'm figuring out how can we get a class action lawsuit against Stansfield where I can get all the tuition and my kid automatically gets a degree. Because, you know, if your teacher passes away while you're in school, they automatically pass you through those classes because of all the drama and stress that you might be put through. But just imagine two teachers in a year plus all the students. Oh, no. I need my honorary. No, I don't need an honorary. I need a legitimate PhD before I get the hell up out of here. Or I'm going to need to see each and one of these police officers' IDs and the dean's ID because I'm suing everybody. And you know me, my magical number. I'm asking for $50 million in damages. <laughs> Not punitive damages, in actual damages. I, I can't think. I can't sleep. I can't eat. I can't use the bathroom on my own. I get nervous. Whenever I hear a school bell ring, oh, I get the trembling. Whenever I watch college football on the weekend, I just cry. I lock myself in the closet because all the shit that I went through at Stansfield, the biggest mistake, Your Honor, I'm here today to tell you my biggest mistake was enrolling my child, who I thought was going to get a higher level education from Stansfield, one of the most prestige colleges in the nation, only to find out that this place is scum. 